Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kai Guy Slider, and I am sliding into your subscription boxes today with episode number eight, or what should be technically episode nine, but we'll get into that in just a second of our Pokemon Sapphire randomized Nuzlocke. Now, I officially know the pain of losing footage. Now, I would swear on anything in front of me that I click the record button, and according to the random still image in my where I normally put my recordings, I did, but apparently I clicked it too hard and I and I unclicked it as well when I did it. So when I clicked the record button, I guess I also unclicked it too and just didn't notice it. So I lost the entirety of episode eight, and I'm not happy if you can't tell by the look on my face. So we lost an entire episode today, and I'm I'm blown away about how angry I am. But here we go. Here you guys get to see. This little guy, he's the newest member of this team. We got Dump Truck the Aeron because apparently this thing can destroy a Dump Truck and then eat it. With It's according to the Pokedex, yeah. And he's got Tackle, Metal Claw, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. We'll get into the rest of the team later on. And I'll show you guys the encounters that we also got in the last episode, which aren't very good. But, oh, God, I'm just so angry right now. So, as punishment for myself, probably clicking the button too hard, even though I'm pretty sure it's the recording equipment's fault, I have here this lovely bottle. I'm not sure if it's in focus or not of <sighs> Lester Fixins, is that what it's called? Yeah, Lester Fixin Fixins Pickle Flavored Soda. And my punishment for not getting any of that recording set up properly and being a stupid idiot and clicking the button too long, I guess, is that before I can start today's episode, I have to drink this entire thing. So, you got that to look forward to. Some pain from me, yeah. Maybe the whole thing seems too harsh. I don't know, I'll drink a lot of it, all right. I don't want to do this. Bottoms up. Oh god, so bad. <coughs> <coughs> it's not even like dill pickle juice or anything. It's like the sweet like bread and butter pickles. So it's like the sweet and salty mix, but it's a liquid and it doesn't it's not okay. It's not okay at all. Yeah, I can't drink this entire thing or I'll throw up right here on camera. That was like two big sips right there. <coughs> so I'll do two more and then we'll call it fair, okay? Fair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lost the footage. What do you want from me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bottoms up. <coughs> if I don't die first. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, there's my punishment. Alright, we're good. Alright, team recap. Let's go, let's get it. Nope, can't teleport in here. Good job, Antonio. I did do a little bit of off-screen. <coughs> <coughs> I need water. Holy cow. Why do people make this? This isn't okay. It's not okay. It's not. I've had really good versions of it. I've had PB&J. I've had birthday cake. Those are so good. This is not okay. Whoever thought this is okay, it's not. And I like pickle juice. I drink it. It's not okay. This is not okay. Anyway, I did do a bit of off-screen grinding. Well, rather, t it really was off-screen grinding because some of the team got leveled up in the last episode, which is now gone forever thanks to the stupid recording software. So here's a team recap. We got Antonio the Gardevoir. Antonio the Gardevoir with the traceability and adamant nature. Uh, holding the scope lens up is critical hit ratio. With, oh, 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 sorry, with Calm Mind, which he learned in the last episode, but you wouldn't know that because it got lost. Confusion, Double Team, and Teleport. <coughs> oh, that was a loud burp. Oh, that was a heavy one, too. Excuse me. You know, I think the goal is going to be have to finish this by the end of the episode. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Uh, we got Frank on the Blast with Torrent and Alax Nature holding the scene since I took away the leftovers from him. Uh, just to give him a little extra oomph to his water type moves. With tackle, bite, water gun, and withdraw. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, then we have Wrigley the pup himself, the Gramble, with intimidate and a hasty nature. Hold the choice mind up the power of his physical moves. With tackle, bite, charm, and rock tomb. Then we have Chipper the Charmeleon with the Blaze Billy and a naughty nature. Holding the leftovers, I did give them the Charmeleon. With ta with scratch, growl, ember, and smoke screen. And last but certainly not least, we have Falcon the Pidgeotto, who is taken center stage in the last episode, but you wouldn't know because it disappeared. If you can't tell, I'm I'm livid. I'm I'm furious. 
I'm flabbergasted. I can't think of any more adjectives to describe how annoyed and angry I am. Keen eyes to prevent accuracy loss and a bold nature. Holding the sharp beaked up the power of his flying type moves with tackle, sin attack, gust and quick attack. He tried to learn, um, whirlwind, but I decided not to let him learn just because. And then we have the newest member of the team, like I said. The dump truck, the Aeron, with Rockhead and assassin nature. Holding nothing, because I'll get to that. With tackle, metal claw, mud slap, and headbutt. So first things first, I want to go ahead. I went back off screen and I got the experience share from Mr. Stone. The way you get that is you go back to uh, Rustboro City after you give Stephen the letter, and you give him you give him the information that you have given Stephen the letter, and he gives you the experience share. So we're gonna go ahead and slap the experience share onto Dump Truck just to help him gain a little experience throughout this episode. I also, off screen, went and got the Harbor Mail so that I can get the coin case from this lady right here. As you can see, oh, you have Harbor Mail? Will you trade it for a coin case? Yes, it was a pain though to get this thing, so sure. We got a coin case, probably not gonna be showing that off, honestly, because honestly, the game corner isn't really that useful to me in a Nuzlocke, but just so that you guys know that it's available to you, I figured I would get it. The other thing I did, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still grossed out by that, is I brought some Great Balls off screen, uh, we also ended up getting the acro bike in the last episode as well, so now we have that, so that's great. Uh, and now I'll show you guys the encounters that we got in the last episode as well. We also took on, uh, we cleared out the entire route, uh, leading up to Malva. We l took out the, ro the route, um, east of the route we were previously on, or I said it in the last episode, west of the route we were previously on, where, uh, the little area you can surf back to old antennas, I took that out off screen as well. Uh, and then after that, we just got the encounters that I'm about to show you, and then we battled Wally, and that's where I ended off the episode. So you didn't miss a whole lot besides the battle with Wally and my lovely British accent. However, we did get a couple of new encounters, or really just two. We got uh, Dump Truck, the Aaron, and we got Butt Torpedo, the Sharpedo. Because apparently this Pokemon uh, shoots wa exhaust water out of its uh, backside to go fast, and that made me think of its butt. So I called it Butt Torpedo. Yeah, I'm not funny. And then we ended up getting a Macargo on the route west of here, but I didn't want it, so I KO'd it. Straight up, I, I didn't want the Macargo at all. And I hope most of you can understand why I did not want the Macargo. First things first for today's episode, before we take on Watson, is we are going to go ahead and battle the Winstraight family real quick. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How is this? What do you say about taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? I would love to. Sure thing. That's the spirit. I like you. Alright, let's get it on, pal. I think I'm leaving with Antonio. Let's go. <coughs> I'm so mad to finish this stupid soda bite. Isn't the soda punishment enough? Do I really have to battle a freaking Entei too? I'm gonna call him mining up. You can't touch me. You can't touch me. Ha 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 ha. You probably have bite actually and I'm a little scared now that I just did that. Uh, Ember. Okay. We were okay. Every time I think I'm okay. Every time I think I'm safe. That just, something just has to happen to me honestly. A couple of confusions we take, should be able to take this thing as we are plus one. Yep, that does very good damage. a boy, Antonio. He crits me, of course. Why can things not ever go well for me? God, and you have like an orange berry, I'm assuming too. Oh wow, look at that! You do. This is still ki this is still KOing you though, so it's fine. All right, well since we've got still more of this to go, might as well try and see a little more. Off Antonio, thank you for that crit. I don't feel like dealing with this thing anymore than I have to. You guys can see how much is left of that. We're almost there. Oh god, it's just so bad. <coughs> You've got a milk tank. <coughs> I'm gonna send Wrigley out. One normal type against the other. Let's have a normal type battle, bro. Anyway, for question of the day, since I'm ingesting this h hideous, disgusting soda, question of the day is what is going to be your favorite form of soda, soft drink, pop, however you want to say it? What's your favorite kind? I would love to know. For me, I would either say it is Sprite or it is definitely not this monstrosity created by humanity. It was either be Sprite or it would be Dr. Pepper. Those are the two best sodas, in my honest opinion. Uh, they just have the best taste, honestly. Some sodas have a bad aftertaste that I just don't like very much. But Dr. Pepper and, Se and Sprite do not have that, so I thoroughly enjoy them. Uh, I would also give an honorable mention to Root Beer. Everyone loves some, some good Root Beer. Growing up, it was my favorite soda, but since I've become a man, 
I'm not. I'm barely a man, honestly. Look at me. I'm barely a man. I play Pokemon on the internet, and I drink disgusting soda while I do it. I'm barely a man. Um, since, but now that I become a man, I've lost sort of a taste for root beer, and now I have more refined taste. I eat Dr. Pepper and Sprite. So there we go. We defeated the first of the four win straights. <coughs> oh God! I'm sorry. This video is like 85% of me just coughing, but. That soda is just the worst thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. You must be quite the good trainer to beat my husband. It's my turn to battle now. We're still gonna beat you too, though. Oh god, I can feel it sting in my stomach and it's giving me a headache. Oh, I'm in pain. Like, I'm, guys, I'm not playing this up. I'm in genuine pain right now. I don't know how long I can do this for. This is not okay. This is really not okay. I have to finish this before the end of the episode? Why did I do this to myself? Oh my god, hopefully you're enjoying my pain. If you are, click that like button. <laughs> I'm not funny, I swear. You don't have to click the like button, honestly. Just the fact that you're watching this video is enough, honestly. So thank you for watching this, and hopefully you're getting some kind of enjoyment out of the horrendous pain that I'm feeling in my stomach right now. And in the back of my throat. Like, this is honestly offensive to sodas. This is straight up offensive to all soda kind. I'm gonna start a petition that's just to ban this specific soda, because some of the other Lester Fix and sodas are pretty good. This one, not so much. It's literally like, it literally tastes like I took like a handful of sea salt, soaked it in some water, poured like a cup of sugar into it, and then just chugged the whole thing. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's disgusting. Feed a match. Oh gosh, I can't get over how strong you are. Two wins straights down. That's good. That's great. There's a strong trainer here. Now I think we about yeah, we got the little girl. You're stronger than mommy? Like, wow. But I'm strong too, really, honestly. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, gonna go for a little more. God, I hate my life. I hate it so much. I can't do it. I, I, I genuinely can't do it. I'm not playing this up. I can't do it. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna send out Wrigley to get on Intimidate off on this thing and just destroy it with a couple of... Choice band of tackles. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm gonna see some of it off. A little bit more gone. Oh god, it's so bad. Okay, tackle this thing. Thunder punch, that's gonna hurt a little bit, isn't it? Please don't crit me or something. Okay, that didn't crit me, that's good. Oh. Wrigley the pup in the clutch. Let's go, little boy. That's my pupper. Thank you for helping me through this, buddy. I appreciate you more than you know. Alright, let's send out Chipper to deal with this Blossom. I send out Falcon, but honestly, Falcon's a little bit overleveled at this point. And I don't think I want him getting ridiculously overleveled. So that is why I'm not doing that. Besides, an Ember or two should be able to easily take out Spell Sprout. We all need one because Chipper don't care. Chipper don't play no games. Chipper is here to take names. Let's go. And lastly, we have a Ditto, which is just going to transform whenever we send out. Um... I'm going to send out Falcon, just because, <coughs> god this pickle sword is so bad, just because um, we can hit everything uh, for neutral damage still, so after he transforms to us, we'll still be able to hit uh, the ditto for neutral damage, instead of like, whereas if he transformed into Blastoise or Charmeleon, we wouldn't be able to hit it with neutral damage with Water Gun or um, Ember anymore, so that is why. We're doing that. Yeah, it makes sense in my head. Hopefully it makes sense in your head, too. But now Falcon gets a little bit of limelight, too, so there's that. Hey, Kenai came in clutch right there. We don't lose accuracy here today, fools. Yeah, nice try. I can't even think straight. This, I, I don't even know, man. I, I'm just talking at this point. Like, it's literally just me talking. But yeah, anyway, for question of the day, let me know what your guys' favorite brand or flavor of soda or pop is. Also... Tell me how you call soda. Do you say soda? Do you say pop? Do you say soft drink? Let me know that. Let me know what you call it and uh, what your favorite kind of it is. That way I can learn a little bit about you guys and possibly where you're from as well. Don't actually tell me where you're from. We'll say that for later, but I want to try and guess just based off of where, like, you, uh, like how you say it and stuff. But yeah, so favorite type of soda and how you say the word soda in the comment section down below. Poor favor, that way... I can, I can try and guess, you know? And that way I can learn a little bit about you guys. It's, it's cool, yeah. Interactions, yeah. Oh god, I really just don't... I, I'm just talking so I'm stalling and I don't have to drink more of the soda, honestly. <coughs> Excuse me. 
God, it's so bad. Sorry, I'm just checking something on my phone real quick. I'm trying to see how long I've been recording, and I really have no idea. I honestly feel like we probably shouldn't take on Watson today. Even though I said we probably will. Just because I, I feel like we're running a little long in this episode as it is. So I think we'll take out the gym trainers, and then from there... Ugh, do you really have to paralyze me? I think we'll take out the gym trainers, and then from there... Uh, from the start of the next episode, we'll take on Watson. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Oh, if this bite's on Christmas, I'm in trouble. Uh, okay, we're fine. Franklin! Uh, okay, I'm gonna super potion up Franklin. Oh yeah, I also bought a lot of super potions off camera. I think I bought like 10. Yeah, I did. So we had 7 and I bought 10. So now we have 17. Math! Math is your friend. Stay in school, kids. Do it. It's good for you. Yeah, I know you might hate it, but you'll be better for it in one day. Trust me. I'm still in school and I'm 21. I'm trying to earn a degree. You guys remember the old like education connection commercials where you could like get like the degree online and everything? I went on the internet and found education connection. I took some free tests to find out my direction. I'm taking my classes online, getting my degree on my own time. I don't remember the rest of it. Wow, that was probably the cringiest thing I ever put on this channel. But hopefully you guys thought it was funny. If if not, then I'm sorry. That's just my sense of humor. So yeah, I think the plan for now is going to be to take on Watson's gym trainers, just so we can scout what levels they are and all of that. And then at the start of episode number 9, which is the next episode, which will go up this Friday, we will battle Watson and then we will go from there. Alright, so let's go ahead and battle all these trainers first. All right, I feel like this guy needs to have like a deep rocker voice. My electric soul, or just like kind of emo. My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole. Whoa, whoa, yay, yay! I didn't realize he was going for a rhyme there. Otherwise, I'd have gone for something a little more poetic. However, I didn't realize, so I'm sorry. Why? Why does these? Why does this thing happen to me? Why do these things happen to me? Like, what did I? What did I do? I, I know I lost the footage. I get it. I lost the footage, but I'm sorry I did. <coughs> it was an honest mistake, guys. It, I promise you it was, and it wasn't my fault. It was not my fault. I firmly blame um, the recording software I use, OBS. I, I blame you for this. Dump Truck gained a bunch of experience, too, and she's going to send out a trap pinch, or he's going to send out a trap pinch. So we'll send out Franklin to go ahead and take care of that trap pinch. It can one-shot with a nice and clean water gun, no problem, I'm assuming, especially since we have a C instance. Fun fact about trap pinch is that it actually has the exact same base attack as a flygon. They both have base 100 attack. So that means this little thing could actually hit really hard, and this did not one-shot. Oh, he's going to attack me, we're fine. But yeah. Trap Inch has, I think, the highest attack for a basic mon. The only other thing that comes to mind might be Sneasel. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure, but don't quote me on that. But Franklin picks up the KO on Rich Boy Jill here. Rich Boy Jill holding his guitar, his or her, I'm not really sure. Bars, put that in your song, pal. And we can go ahead and battle this guy. This guy right here. Uh, I really don't know how long I've been recording, guys. Like, I really need to start learning that I should keep track of that. Trainer Rachel sent out Poochiana. Okay, that's bad for Antonio. And he's level 20, so that's kind of kind of nerve-wracking, if I'm being honest with you guys. <coughs> we'll go out to Franklin. And we'll also try and see more of this garbage off real quick. So close. We're so close. This is the worst. Oh god, why did I have this thing in my fridge anyway? Oh god. I gotta cleanse the palate a little bit with just some nice clean water. Also, fun fact on... Ugh. I'm flustered, I'm sorry. Fun fact, um, on an old YouTube channel I used to run with a friend of mine named Chris called Exceed the Limit, which you will hopefully never ever find because it was cringy as anything. There, we never put it out, but there was a soda challenge video that we did where we got specifically these kinds of sodas and tried them with a bunch of our friends and they had to guess what was what while well, I was the gracious host and I provided them with the said soda. <coughs> <coughs> so I did that um, and some of the sodas that we tried were like corn, there was buffalo wing, PB&J, birthday cake, coffee, I'm trying to think what else there was. I think there was one more. Oh, we did the ranch one, which is apparently like the worst thing ever. Oh, you're gonna have explosion. You're going to have explosion. 
We did the ranch one. It was literally the worst thing ever. I think I took a sip from my friend's cup and I literally just went bleh and just spit it right back out into the cup because it was that bad. It literally tasted like a dirty carpet. And there's the explosion. I really hope Franklin can live this. If not, I'm going to be very salty. Woo! Wow. Franklin, you big beautiful boy, you. Holy cow. All right, you're going to send out a cacturn. Um, well, we've got Chipper for that. Chipper can handle that no problem, honestly. <coughs> oh, man. I know I keep coming back to this, but the soda is so bad. It just burns being in your throat and in your tummy. Like, my tummy feels like it's going to explode. I, I'm sounding like I'm a freaking five-year-old. I'm saying the word tummy on the internet when I'm a 21-year-old man. Oh, my God. Wow, and I just bumped my elbow. Things are just going wrong tonight. Things have just been going wrong. Today has not been a good day. Spoilers. <coughs> I didn't have the best day today. Work was slow. Class was slow. Everything was just kind of boring. Today really kind of dragged on, honestly. Flareon, we'll go out in the Blast Toys. Oh, wait, no, we can't because Blast Toys just got destroyed by an explosion. <coughs> Everything just kind of dragged on. It wasn't the best day. But I'm enjoying recording this. I always enjoy recording this Nuzlocke. Despite how, well, especially, it's, except for right now when I'm ingesting this terrible, terrible beverage uh, and burping every five seconds. But nine times out of ten, I enjoy recording this series. It's probably, other than Bob and Swap, it's probably my favorite series to record, honestly. Because I know how much you guys love it, because I'm pretty sure this does get the most views on the channel. Hey, Antonio with the confusion. a boy. I'm pretty sure this does get the most views on the channel. So, <coughs> that tells me you guys like seeing it. And I like providing you guys with what you like to see. See, we got a nice little thing going on here. We got the we got the content creator, and we got the we got the viewer. Yeah, this is this is a nice little thing we got going on here. You, yeah, I'm talking to you right now. You watching this video right now? I'm talking to you. You look good. I like what you're doing with your hair. It's different, but I like it. Good job. Kudos to you, honestly. Dub Troll Crew level 17, and I am a weirdo. Iron Defense. I think we're gonna go ahead and learn that, honestly. Let's see, what should we get rid of? We got um, tackles just weaker headbutt. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that for Iron Defense. Because Iron Defense, I feel like it come in clutch, honestly. Not bad at all. Um, I'm not sure when Dump Truck will evolve into a Laron, honestly. I'm hoping it's sometime soon. But I feel like it's not until like level like 21 or 22, honestly. Right, we're going to go ahead and battle this last Gym Trainer. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Alright, let's see what she's got going on for us here. It's normally a battle girl. Who are you? Bug Catcher Kate. What's up, Kate? How you doing? Can I get your number? I don't know what I'm saying at this point, honestly. We traced the water absorbs, so now it can't touch us. So we can just fire off a couple of confusions, honestly. This might even one-shot. Almost. Oh, oh, come on. You're just going to drag out the battle. <coughs> Ugh. And don't worry. I'll still finish this thing by the end of the episode. It'll be like our last little thing. I'll do the outro with, like, pain in my voice. Yay. It's great. Yeah. We'll go out into Gramble here. Wrigley the Pup. Just so we can take this thing out, because I really don't feel like playing around. Apparently, Poliwag is actually extremely fast. That has, like, base, like, 80 or 85 speed somewhere around there. It's insanely fast. And I never knew that. It's actually pretty cool, honestly. Okay, stop double slapping me. Stop. Okay, that was actually a real double slap. You slapped me twice. I'm like, last time you slapped me three times. That's triple slap, not double slap. Fix it, Game Freak. Fix it. I'm talking to you, Game Freak. Fix it. Do it. Yeah. Dump truck gains experience, and everyone else gains experience, too. I'm shocked by your power! You should be, man. We, we shouldn't be, man. We gotta wriggle the pup on the team, so don't worry. Alright, let's see if we can just solve this real quick and then go. Yeah, okay, that was nice and easy. Alright. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and heal up our team real quick, and in the very next episode, we will go ahead and take on Senor Watson. Is this? Nope, it's an accident of attraction. Alright. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this episode... Oh, that's right. First things first. I f almost forgot. We're going to finish the rest of this off. I'm just going to chug it in one go, and we'll just be done with it. Cheers. Thank you guys for watching the video. <coughs> so it just came out of my nose. So it just came out of my nose. My little just vomited. Oh my god. That was painful. Oh, so it just came out of my nose. <coughs> I don't like it. Ugh, we're done. That's all that matters. If you guys did enjoy this video and my pain, leave click that like button, please. It lets me know that you enjoyed. It lets me know you want to see more of this series. And it helps me out a ton as well. It helps me, like, get more into the spotlight and stuff. So help me out a little bit. Oh, this was not fun. 
I'm sorry if I look gross right now too. There's probably stuff coming out of my nose. That wasn't fun. Um, leave a comment answer your question of the day. Let me know what you call the word soda and what your favorite kind of it is. Please don't say this pickle flavored soda. If if so, I'm going to be very upset with you. Please be honest with this, and that way I can learn a little about you guys as well. Also, make sure you guys subscribe down below. That way you can stay notified about when I upload and see all of my content as well. Links to my social media are in the description too. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kyler underscore Ren96. Join us in the next episode where we will take on Watson and do a little bit of errand running around the next couple of towns, such as Verdant Turf Town, while we clear out that route. Go see Chicken on Wally and all that. About now, uh, probably a little bit before now actually, there's going to be a couple of buttons on your screen that you can click. In the center, there's a, a, a button of my face on it, this ugly mug right here. You click on that to subscribe as well. Uh, to the right side is a video that YouTube thinks that you will like, that they picked best for you, just for you. Just for you right there. YouTube cares, and I care. We care about you. So we picked that video just for you. And to the left, you can check out my most recent upload as well. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope you have a very good day. Goodbye.